The Rose Theatre is back in York and it's already started setting new records. Rehearsals have just begun in the biggest pop-up studio in Europe. Um, we have created the biggest rehearsal studio, temporary rehearsal studio in the world, probably. We're rehearsing eight Shakespeare shows at once, and today is the first day when the company from Blenheim meet the company from York. So we have over 75 actors, 12 musicians, 41 technical people wandering around, and um, 23 creatives. So it's like enormous. So as a producer, it's like, oh, lordy B. But it's, you know, here we are in the designer outlet in York rehearsing what is the biggest Shakespearean company in the world. As with many modern interpretations, the company is highlighting how we can shake up Shakespeare. Shakespeare, you know, a lot of us were taught it at school where it could have been a bit dry. I think nowadays we, we realise that it's actually very clever. Um, and many of our, many of the sayings we use every day come from Shakespeare, you know, brevity be the soul of wit, you know, um, and all those things. But. Um, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's approachable and fun. I think the, the great thing about any, any uh, work that is of, of quality and that has um, uh, a truth that sits naturally inside itself, that, that, that will always be the case for that piece of work. I mean, it's, it's a, you know, uh, lots of people still go to see the Mona Lisa or to see Canalettos or you know, whatever it may be. We all read books that are centuries old um, and they all still have their resonances if they are great pieces of work and great pieces of art. But the team also want to make sure that Shakespeare is accessible. And the, the quality of the writing is so high that um, even, if, even if you don't understand every single word of it, you know what it means. Uh, I think the wit and the humour and the drama of the pieces, and these are great stories, these are stories which come from before Shakespeare's time, many of them. So they're wonderful pieces of storytelling and celebrating that is something that I think that the British public love to do. Um, and I think that when people come to this country to visit here, it's part of what they expect to get. Something new for this year is the casting of Maggie Bain as Henry V. So Maggie Bain is Henry V. Um, some may go, ooh, you know, a female acting uh, the role of Henry. Well, it's been done before, so it's not a surprise. But genuinely, we searched the UK, and the actor that we found that was best for that role happened to be Maggie Bain. And I've watched her in rehearsal, and boy, do I think that was a good decision. But is James worried about the high expectations? Yeah, I mean, it is a responsibility, you know, to have done something which was universally acclaimed, we've won awards for it, and now trying to do it again, you know, you, there's, no, there's no sleuth involved. Um, I think what we've done this year is assembled a really good production team, because it starts at production. And next, the Rose Theatre is set to go global. We're in the final stages of confirming another site for next year, so, yeah. There could be three, and one will be overseas. Um, and um, we're taking two of the shows, Macbeth and Midsummer Night's Dream, we're going to Manila this season. Straight after Blenheim, the cast get on a plane and take the shows, not the theatre, but the shows, to the Philippines. Another first. The theatre seems set to continue for years to come. As the Bard once said, if music be the food of love, play on. Kit Taylor, that's TV.